So in my Granby video, somebody asked about uh, what's the head shrug because I mentioned it. So the head shrug position is the first thing that you learn in the Granby school. And I'll just do it without Dom for a second here. And remember in the head Granby position, you know, you're coming up and then you're gonna, you're gonna bring your head way over this way, right? And then your hips are gonna come up and over, right? So your foot's coming like this, right? Fiber, this one, the inside one, okay? Here, see? And then out here, turn, get to side control. The head shrug is actually not all that different. Um, the concept of you getting your head this way is, and remember in wrestling, his hand's gonna be around his waist. And I guarantee you in jujitsu, his hand's gonna be around your waist. It just is. So the, 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 he's gonna be, if he most of the time will be on, on a side, okay? And it, we're gonna imagine he's on this side. If he is, then my knee's gonna come back, okay, like this in my head. And what the reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to clear my leg from his hips and you'll see when he's on top. So my knee comes back at the same time my head comes this way, okay? And the reason that this is super effective is it literally doesn't even matter if he has an underhook on this side because it's gonna pinch it in there when I go to the top of my head and then my hand's gonna come between like this, okay? Now, <clears throat> now I spin like a top, okay? So n this doesn't work if you're crunched like this. You're, you're not gonna get anywhere, okay? Because his weight will be much more effective on me because of the position my back is in. When I'm on the top of my head, my back is like this and he can't really effectively put weight on me. So get on here. So whether he, he's just got behind me or whatever, and this is classic wrestling, okay? My, my knees, I need to clear them. I can't just go to my head. He's gonna be putting some weight forward on me and stuff, right? So if you're wrestling and if you've ever tried to get off the bottom. <clears throat> what makes it so hard is he understands that these are posts for me to hold my weight. And if you watch my stand-up video, I'm trying to get my weight back into him because I don't want to be on my face because once he flattens me out, I'm in a lot of trouble. So I'm clearing this knee here. So now you can see how now I'm past his hips. And yeah, he'll try to follow me. But when I come up to my hip, I can... That's the classic Granby. Remember, we're going to turn... I, I would prefer turning this way, not this way. Although I, it happens to me in jujitsu. If you know, if you do jujitsu, you know this position. You can step over to full mount. But in wrestling, because <clears throat> guys are so scrappy, I want to try to go to the double. You're hearing this now as a common theme of mine is to wrap up people's legs when you can, when they're especially when they're on their hips, because um, if if you come up to the waist, they can potentially scramble out. So. I, I use that reverse position all the time in jujitsu though, but people aren't trying to stand up as much. So there is that. If you get somebody who's a wrestler off the street, it, you notice how it's annoying to keep them down because so, so you have to wrap their legs up from there. Okay. Now that doesn't always happen. Um, actually a lot of the time what's happening, let's keep this position just for now. But a lot of times what happens, I clear my knee and stay, stay here. Don't follow me. Um, so I come here and I get to what I call like the arrest position, like you're under arrest, like a, like a cop, where you put his arm behind his back. Again, if he goes flat here because this pressure is so tremendous, now you're good and I can put it behind his back. I can even submit him from here, okay? But if he doesn't, he's still up on his hips here. I'm going to go to the double from here, okay? So turn this way. So once I get to here, I'm going to... I, I can I can yoke this back, but if he's really smart, he'll do a forward roll. So I want to prevent that from happening by coming here. So you notice this is like so common theme for me. This is kind of like my style of wrestling. If I come up to the waist, I allow his legs back in the game. But if I come here, switch to the double, I can finish low and I can step over to mount. Okay, whatever it is that you do. All right, so how does this translate to jujitsu? because people aren't gonna start in referee's position. But they will, if they just took you down, get to this position. And just like wrestling, by the way, if you watched ADCC, people don't want legs in. So this is before he gets legs in. After he gets legs in, we have to do a whole new strategy. That's a whole new set of videos, okay? I don't want his legs in. So just like I taught you, 
you know, before, I want to be like aware of where his feet are. Okay. I don't want him collapsing one of my, over top of one of my arms or any of that. It is the same in wrestling. Trust me. You don't want that to happen. Um, this is before he gets legs in. You can still do the shrug. So he's here and he's going to be trying to get legs in and stuff, but I can use the same head shrug position here to go down to my head, come up, start walking around and it breaks his grip. You see how his grip broke? This is the most likely scenario. I'm staying low. I'm coming to the double. I'm running across. You notice how I use my legs, by the way, to drive across, how I didn't like try to pull them in. You know, like when I got, when I had that police grip, when I get to here, I'm, I'm always, and I show this in stance videos and everything. You notice how I never really separate my elbows from my knees too much. And so I'm running across because I want to be powerful from that position. That's the most likely scenario. And I can still kind of trap his arm there if I need to do it, okay? So, <clears throat> so get back to there. Okay, this is before legs get in, okay? I wanna switch my feet out here and I'm, my knee's coming back. I'm going to the top of my head. Not like this. See, watch, what, see, I'm toast. I gotta get to the top of my head and that's where the power, that's where the power of this position comes from here, okay? I'm on the top of my head. I'm circling, circling, and see there. And he, if, if it's done fast, he will flow, uh, fall over like he does. Come over this way. So when we end up, um, actually, yeah, do it, yeah, do it this way, because we might, we might circle around the right way. I hope. <laughs> um, go to, yeah. So here, okay, I'm coming around, coming around. That time he comes over, I go to the legs. Um, let's do it here. Uh, this time, do your best to, it hurts your shoulder. That's why people, that's why people go over, just so you know. Okay, here, clearing this, right? And, and he's going to be, he's going to be pressuring forward. It actually helps me, believe it or not. So if he's putting some pressure into me, it actually helps. See here? See now, I got the wrist grab and spin around. Spin uh, this way towards the camera. Keep spinning this way. Yeah, keep go Keep going. Right, one more time here. So this is where we're f***ing most of the time, okay? And like, there is freestyle wrestling stuff I used to use a long time ago where you could put your elbow to the back here and you can get them to, to fall over. But for the safest thing, go back to the double, run them over, okay? Finish the takedown. Or reversal, really, in this case. I'm not sure if I went off screen or not. Okay, so that's the head shrug. Okay, um, it does take a little bit of practice. Knee goes back, right, this position. If for nothing else, it is really hard to hold somebody when they get to the top of their head. Again, you can't crunch your neck, okay? If you get crunched, you're done. You gotta reset. Um, okay, now this is different than the side headlock position. So uh, come over here and so, if he get if he secured this and then he jumps over here make sure this microphone's out of the way i have to respect this because you notice how i can't turn into him now this this is uh this is something i'm constantly teaching right constantly coaching about is this notion that i have to respect uh oh <laughs> just i'm out we're back i broke the mic this is this <laughs> smart mic which the clip broke off when I was trying to replace it. So we put a little mat tape on it. <laughs> okay. So show the head shrug. Now this shouldn't go anywhere now. Um, so now we're going to show it like if he's got the side headlock, which, so okay, go back and do the, the uh, seatbelt grip. So this is the classic seatbelt grip, right? That we were showing on this side, but, but right. And this is where the shrug works, right? Cause I can, I can shrug from here, but if he goes to the other side, <clears throat> I've got a problem now because I have to respect this, okay? Like I was saying before the, everything cut out. Um, I have to respect this because he's got this underhook, okay? And this, this is, I can't turn into him now. It's in, in Granby camp, the thing that they teach you how to deal with, if he's just uh, a lefty and he goes to referee's position, so if he's just like this and he's on this side, I have to DI and you know, yeah, would it be awesome if you were great from the Granby on both sides? Sure. But they do so much drilling from that position 
assuming that the guy's right-handed and he's gonna be on this side. So what they teach you there is to post here and switch your body up and so then see how now this hand becomes here and then now I can go to the head shrug or I can go to the Granby. So I can go to the head shrug from here, right? He's here with, with this position here. Yeah. And so I can, I can switch here, right? And go to the head shrug or go to the Granby, okay? And spin around. So that's the, now this is what you're gonna do if he's got the side headlock because if he has the side headlock, which is the seatbelt grip, but he's on this side now, right and I, I have to really respect this this is a big problem for me um because if i don't respect it and i was showing him this this is something we used to teach high school kids is if he purposefully puts his leg there to bait me and i step over it like an idiot he can just lock this up and roll me through and take me to my back and i'll show that in a second so don't step over <laughs> do not do this if you step over here and he's got the side headlock you're gonna get choked out um, and choked out because you know I think people think you can't choke in wrestling <laughs> as long as the arm is in there I've been choked many times in wrestling believe me especially when you have judokas on your team so we're going to use the same concept as we use in Granby school okay we're going to come up here this hand I have to have weight on this hand and believe me he doesn't he knows that he's going to be pushing his elbow forward and making this hard for me to put weight on it okay so I have to put weight so again, I have to keep good position here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hip right here, okay? Here, like this. Now, you see I have my weight on this hand now? Now I can go to the head shrug, and yep, if he comes over, he comes over, okay? But you notice, see the position how I could have gone to the cop, police move, or I can come here, okay? The reason that he went over was because I didn't clear, well, and it's fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with that position. But those, one of those two things happen, okay? So I'll do that one again. Okay, he has this. And I'm not going to be able to do the head shrug on this side because he's got me, okay? When, when I was saying the underhook before, I meant underhook, only underhook. You can do a head shrug. It's very hard, though, okay? Not when he's got this grip. When he's got this grip, I'm not turning into him. I don't care how strong you think you are. It ain't going to happen. So we're here. I'm going to put my hip here, here. Okay, to the head, spin around, cover him, or the police grip, okay, the cop grip <laughs> thing I already showed you. And then lastly, if you want style points, want to be a badass, I'll do the head grabby really quick. He has this, okay, come here, here, now look, remember how I showed you before? To here, to the head grabby. Okay, look, didn't go over, no problem, here. And actually, that's really common. Mm -hmm. You okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, did you face plant a little bit? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, so that happens, okay? So, head Granby is an option from there because I'm just going here, boom, here. Okay. So, oh, these mats are so hard because it's so cold in here. <laughs> so, these are cement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. The guy said, some guy commented that I was actually just wrestling on cement. Man. Yeah, it's getting cold out here, so. Okay, so, uh, oh, last thing I'll show you. So in wrestling, for you wrestlers, this is one reason we used to teach this side headlock position. If you said, let's say there's 10 seconds left in the match and you gotta win, and the guy sets up here, we would say, tell the ref, optional start, and they would blow the whistle. We'd come straight here and bait the guy with his leg, and they always step over, they can't help it. When they step over, my my foot I'll show you from the front and then I'll show you from the back here I'm just gonna roll suicide roll through here if I want I, I don't I just squeeze and it sucks because this bone is really on his throat um yeah let's do it from the back so you referees position they say go you come here he's gonna step over he will you can do it without it by the way I lock here, here, and then squeeze. Here, come over here. I don't think we went off it. I'm here, and I can, put, I can put somebody out this way, believe me, because all I have to do is take this elbow and bring it to my side when my hands are locked, and it gets really tight, okay? Um, but if you're wrestling, who cares? You're pinning them. And still, I can take my leg out, thread my leg out, 
and look at the position I would have, right? So here, roll to your back. Um, here, turn around one more time. Here, right, boom, here, roll them through. I could take my leg out and then we can do all the stuff that we do. Take it back, okay? All right, so that's a head shrug, okay? And options from the head shrug. You can't do it on that side. That's a side headlock. So you have to switch your hips to go to the head shrug. So practice that a lot, okay? Practice clearing your hips. You have to clear your hips, okay? That's the reason the Granby is so effective. I don't have to clear my grips or my hips. I don't have to clear his grips either. I use them against him. <laughs> that shoulder that goes down. Believe me, like when we were over here, if you would have gone over to the Granby, it relieves the pressure on his shoulder. But when he got stuck halfway, <laughs> halfway around, you're like, ugh. And if you got the cop grip, you know, and your elbows on the back of their forearm, like you can tap people from there. So anyway, it's a rough spot. it can be. Yeah, let me know how that works for you. Uh, sorry for the delay uh, with this. We got one more video to shoot. <laughs> so uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks.